this computer. Uh -huh, okay, so we're recording. Excellent. Well, good evening. It's a Tuesday uh, night here in Switzerland, 10, 18, 2218. It's uh, just after lunch in California. Uh, today, we're going to just do a simple demonstration, illustration of how to run actual really easy examples, very simple examples we download from web. Uh, helping with this uh, is Dr. Han Young. Say hi. Hello. Hi. And uh, PhD candidate, uh, PhD student, Heshan Wang. Hi. And uh, they're locked up in, in their rooms anyway because of coronavirus, <laughs> COVID, whatever the official name is. Uh, anyway, so uh, let's, uh, let's let, uh, so Heshan is going to run the example. He's going to download and run and show you how this whole thing works. So Heshan, why don't you share your screen? Let me see. I need to do something here, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, why don't you share your screen? Okay. Yeah. We, ah, okay. So we see it now. Um, for some reason. So now. Oh, I see. No, no. I, I can change the size. I can change the size. Okay. Perfect. So you are on my website. So go to really simulate your website. And uh, go slightly, slowly go down. Just roll your, roll your mouse and go down to those examples. Okay, so you're gonna look at the real easy simulation example collection. Click on that. And then uh, that's downloaded. Then we're gonna go down and pick up a simplest possible example. I think it's gonna be that cantilever just to illustrate how to run the examples, not even to to de demonstrate any visualization. We'll do that in, in the next next illustration. So let's say uh, a static elastic beam with nodal forces. Okay, that's on page 51. Yeah, click on that page 51, let's go there. Here's the example, and then if you go to the easy files, for example, yep, click on that. This is what's gonna show up. So this is a plain text file that Hessian is going to save, save it as a, you know, some name main.fei or something like that. So save that file. Save, yes. Okay, good. And then where you, so, so uh, you make sure you save it in, in a specific directory. Uh, let's say a test directory. How, how, how do you call your, your directory? Test. Uh, don't, don't go on, on file manager. Go simple, uh, skip, uh, simple uh, terminal, open a terminal. Yes. So you're in test, uh, remove all the, all the logs, all the FEI output. We'll, we'll generate those again. Okay, and then do LS minus flecky just to see what's inside. FLA, it doesn't matter, it's like T. Okay, so this is the example. So open this file just to show them what's inside. Uh, open a file. Uh, open it in in, uh, in uh, editor. Oh, uh, editor. Yeah. Okay, so maybe make the font a tiny bit bigger. Well, that's okay. So here's the here's the example in this editor called Sublime. It's one of the editors that's that's possible to use. This one is nice because it actually has uh, has color coloring scheme for for really easy and so on. Uh, uh, installation of Sublime is described in lecture notes or in those manuals online. So go up on top, go to the comment section, the very top line one. So this is actually says MS Easy. We need to replace that. So it's real easy, no problem with that. Uh, no, don't worry, don't worry about it at the moment. <laughs> uh, so we, you have to specify model name. Uh, you have to specify loading stage. This is just a test. Then you start building a model. It's a model with uh, with three nodes. Uh, it's going to have uh, uh, three nodes, uh, nodes one, two, and three. They're going to be at location zero, 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 one, zero, zero. I don't know why there's third nodes. I guess, I guess to, to apply contact later on. And, uh, and then for node one, we fix all the degrees of freedom. We add element number one that has all these properties defined, as you can see. And then we have, uh, yeah, we, uh, why do we have these constraints? Why do we actually have this? I'm not quite sure. 
Uh, okay, this example was actually slightly more complicated, but that, that's fine. Uh, it, it's, uh, it, the idea here is just to show you how to run a single example. Uh, you define uh, these, these equal degrees of freedom master-slave constraints. We actually don't need them really here, but that's okay. This was done for, to actually being able to be able to add a contact or interface. Uh, we're going to add load number one to node two, and we're going to add uh, in x direction one newton, in y direction two newtons, and in z direction three newtons, just to show how this looks like. Uh, type is linear, so it starts from zero to a certain value. We're going to define a solar system of equation solver called UMF pack. That's one of the best ones that we have. And uh, in this case, actually, uh, it, 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 it says that it's using algorithm Newton. It shouldn't really do that. It's really linear elastic. So we'll just run this as linear elastic. There's really no need for Newton. Um, and we're going to simulate uh, 10 steps with the load factor increment of 0, 1. So 0, 1 times 10 will give you a single will give you one essentially. And then at the end you say bye, it's nice and polite, but it also helps system close all the files. So this is how, the, how the, this input file looks like. Again, please never forget that you actually need to put uh, units, dimensions for all the input, uh, input parameters. As you can see, the, the, the locations of nodes are done with dimensions of meters, can be centimeters, can be inches, can be, you know, there, there, in manuals you'll find there's number of these dimensions. Uh, units, uh, modules uh, is in pascals, can be kilopascals, megapascals, and so on and so forth. So get out of this sublime and let's let's uh, now try to start uh, easy. So quit 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 the editor and then just uh, just to show them. So he did download easy, he installed easy, and it's available to him. And in this case, we called it easy underscore test. So why don't you just run easy underscore test just to show without any any uh, argument just to show what what shows up. So this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna essentially get uh, easy test. It gives you title. It says what it is. Uh, some some word that we put together. This is sequential processing mode. Uh, this is really easy simulator 1907. So this is actually previous version. Uh, the release date was uh, February of uh, 2020. Uh, this is an older version again. There's this tag that actually helps us if, if you're trying to track a bug, we know exactly which version, what, what date is it based on. Uh, branch master, compile time, March 21st, a few days, a week ago or so, 10 days ago, compile user Hessian, compile system that is computer CML08, uh, runtime user Hessian, runtime system information CML08, the same machine. Uh, current time is March 31st, uh, 1, 26, 13, 26. Uh, and then we also give uh, compatibility uh, with, uh, with preprocessor and processor just so people know uh, what, what to use. Uh, this days actually gives you a sort of expiration date. We make sure that you always use uh, the latest possible uh, or the newest possible version. So this one has still 270 days until it expires or a full year before it disappears. More information, see realeasy.info. And then there are a few, few, uh, few simple things. Uh, and then this is actually now interpreter. You are in an easy interpreter, which means that all those commands that you have seen beforehand in that input file can now be typed one at a time. And the system is gonna process them and fill up memory, create different matrices, then you can play and then you'll say solve or advanced solution and so on. Uh, but right now we're not gonna do that. I just wanted to show you this, this front page, the, this header, because it, it, it provides important information. So why don't you just exit now and uh, and then let's try. So now in order to run, so do, the, do again the ls minus flag t. Let's show them what in this directory. So, so because we did run, uh, because we did run the program, it creates this easy log, easy log that's given through easy, and then date 31.03.2020, and then time 13.26, and it actually records that, that very same uh, header, and that's important because we want to know what was run and what created the log, and then there's this uh, MS Easy version information also that gives you similar information. We won't really be looking into that. 
uh, but let's now try to uh, so, so uh, let's try to run uh, main FBI. So in order to do that, you will essentially say easy underscore test, and then instead of using it as an interpreter, you are going to say minus f main FBI. So don't run yet. So what this is going to do, easy test is actually going to take this file main FBI and look at every single command line, and then execute or or interpret every single command line and then perform operations that are defined by that by that line and uh let's let's run it let's see what happens and there will be a lot of output so just run it it's gonna flash up over the screen yeah so it's actually around 10 steps it does show this conversion data go slowly up uh go slowly up all the way to the top so here it shows uh Yeah, go all the way to the step number one. So this is output that comes on the screen, but it's also the same output that's gonna be logged in in that log file, different log file, different time. So here it says, uh, go up a little bit more, go up a little bit more. So here it, it shows the same information that we've seen before, except now there's actually something to show. It's running and it, if you go slowly down, it says, uh, it says that it's running and it goes through some stages here creates analysis model, create a, const a constraint handler, number, this is for number of equations, analysis algorithms, system of equations, and static integration handler. And then it goes through these 10 steps. And in this case, we actually requested Newton. We shouldn't have done that actually, because this is just a simple static example. But nevertheless, it gives you import important information about uh, this, some tolerances, some, some uh, forces that are not in balance. In this case, they're very tiny. Uh, uh, 10 to minus 16 and so on uh, and so if you go down skip down go all the way to the end it essentially finished and uh, you know it responded to that by by essentially uh, have a nice day so now let's do again let's look at ls minus flag t let's look at all the files that we created yeah so Again, uh, there's a main file, the one that we used to run the simulation. There was that first log that was uh, produced at uh, 126, 1326. That was just the, the front page, the, the header. And then there was a, there's a second log. The thing that you actually see on screen also is, is written in a file. So you can go back and look at some maybe important messages. And that was uh, written in uh, easy 3103, 2020, 1329. And then this is the actual output file. The uh, this is the name of the pro the name of the of the model. Remember that name name was defined in main FEI, and uh, this is actually uh, the name of the model the way we named it, and it's it's uh, written in HDF5 format, and the uh, the extension is uh, FEI output, and this is everything is inside. You don't have to decide beforehand what you want to say, what you not want to say. Everything is defined. That's why these files tend to be large for large models, but that's okay. You know, we have big disks. We're, we're not afraid of that. So, so this FEI output can now be actually used to post process, which we're not going to do now. We're going to do at a later date. So the main points are that you have to download the executable. You have to place it somewhere where the system can see it. Uh, in your case, uh, Hessian, can you ask the system uh, which easy test just to show them where you put it? Which easy test? This is going to ask the system where is the executable. It's sitting in user local bin easy test, so it's accessible by users, and uh, and uh, because it's accessible by users, you can always test. You can always type easy test and, and just run it as we've seen before. And in order to to run it, you do uh, easy test minus f uh, uh, input file name. Can you also run uh, easy test minus help just to see? Uh, yeah, just, uh, yeah, something like that, minus age. Yeah, just, just trying to show. So, so it gives you some more options here. Uh, it gives you some more options, uh, basic options. Those are all written in, in lecture notes in, in manuals, but uh, it, it can create CPP output, uh, show them where that line is, minus C, is the option you, you can actually create an equivalent file that was in C++. There's the option minus F is the one where we where we uh, request uh, 
in use of that of that file name. Again, these are short and long options. You can either put minus F or minus minus file name. You can request help, just like what we've done so far. Uh, uh, you can request uh, no interactive, which means that uh, when it when it goes out, it's not going to uh, expect, it's not going to allow you to put any commands on the screen. You can also set variables. If you if there are some independent variables within your script or within your program, uh, you can set them here on the command line. This is very useful when you run parametric tests. Uh, you can do a so-called dry run. It's not going to do any uh, calculations. It's just going to go through all the steps and essentially uh, parse and make sure that the commands are right and so on. Uh, you can change model name, the one that was defined in the main FEI file. Uh, you can change it on a command line. And you can also uh, create this uh, profile uh, file, profile report that's going to give developers and maybe you uh, some more information. Uh, anyway, so this is uh, as much as we wanted to show you just to how to run a program on a simple example. Again, there's a number of examples online. Uh, please try some of the simple ones just to get familiar how to actually run the program. And then in the next short recording, we're actually going to do, uh, we're going to show you how to post process and how to manipulate and so on and so forth. So that's all. Thank you very much. I'll end the meeting and then we'll post this, uh, this, uh, this recording.